Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. This is your top 10 comics to buy July 28th. I'm trying something different right now. I'm super tired. I'm filming this weeks ahead to show you my specness, how badass I am, even though it hits a couple days before the day. Um, and I'm going to mess around with editing a bit. So <laughs> here we go. All right, at number 10, we have Harley Quinn number five. I think this is a new appearance of a new character. I'm not sure. It's got the Batman dude on there. I don't know if it's the same Batman or not. I'm not reading this book, but in the description, it says something along those lines of a possible new character. So number 10 on my list. All right, at number 19, we have House. <laughs> I was going to say House of Slaughter. Something is killing the children, number 18. They are doing more with the House of Slaughter. And I think they're investigating the Order of St. George. I don't know. The way this book is going, I mean, it's it's so hot right now. I, I just don't know what else to say. Hotness. Sickness. Everyone's picking it up. It don't matter. It's the craze. <laughs> I'm doing two number eights. First of all, we have Colin Bunn's The Last Book You Ever Read. Number one, and hear a lot of stuff about this comic. Basically, this lady writes a book about civilization is a lie, and there's all this fighting and killing and all about this book. Whoever reads a book freaks out, so she's in danger type of thing, and she hires a bodyguard or something to protect her. Only condition is he can't read the book. Okay, so that should be interesting. I don't know. I, Colin Bunn's a good dude. He writes a lot of stories. And there's just... I've been hearing a lot about this book in the background. Also, we have Symbiote Spider-Man Crossroads, which is Peter, David, and Greg Land. Now, this book... This cover's sick. I think this is the one in 25. This book has to do with Symbiote Spider-Man, Black Suit, before Peter David's run on the Hulk. So, it's going to be dope. And with Greg Land art, you, they, I love that combo. So, I'm super stoked about that. Those are my number eights. Number seven, we have Black Cat number eight. I like this Momo cover. I don't know what it is. I like it. No Mo 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 Co. That's why I keep thinking, but then I look at it and I'm like, I like it. But Black Cat's been pretty hot lately. I feel Black Widow, maybe Black Widow was hotter, but Black Cat, she's hunting after, trying to steal the Infinity Stone, something like that. This whole Infinity thing going on. Uh, I think Nick Fury's after her. And yeah, it's pretty much a cover buy with a hope of a key. You know what I mean? So that's my number siete. The siete, huh? For Siax, we have Shang Chi. What is it? Number Trace. Let me see. Homage cover. Hulk three forty. Reverse homage. Yeah, it's a reverse homage. It's kind of interesting because Wolverine's in there, but it also says something about her, his new sibling. So most likely, a first appearance in there. Of a new chi. And uh, the cover is pure sickness. All us Hulk Wolverine fans are going to be all over it. And of course, Wolvie's in there. Bub. Next. Number five spot, Star Wars is taking it. There's going to be two different Star Wars books. I'm going to put on the old timer glasses. Here we go. Star Wars Adventures number seven. The cover B. Specifically... The Crimson Corsair and his band of pirates make their Star Wars adventure debut key. I don't know how big a key it's going to be, but whatevs, right? And the other one is Star Wars High Republic number 7. A Jedi faces the darkness. What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't know. Could be a new Sith. I don't know where I was seeing that it's a possible Sith. 
Sounds like it. Let's read. Keeve Trennis has put everything on the line to save her former master, but the scars run deep. Deep. Avar Chris summons a task force to deal with the Drangar threat. A desperate Nile remnant attacks a distant outpost. Can Keeve fight back the shadows long enough to stand for light and death? Light and life, it says. Light. Confusing. Light and light. Life and light. Life and light. I don't know. Those are my number cinco's. Okay. Detective Comics number 1040. 1040 cover B. Barbara Mayo is sick. It says the night was killed. It won't tell you. Some What was it? Rumor? It was uh, the Riddler. Which probably makes sense with all these other books. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay. The top three, though, are really good. So let's bring on the three. Okay? Here we go. First up is Red Room, number three, the 15-copy variant. This is number three. It's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles homage. I think, personally, it's going to be on absolute fire. That's what I think. I don't know yet. I mean, it could command a high price. It depends on how many people ordered it. I don't think I got that many, unfortunately. But I think I at least got one. All I know is that book, that cover is going to be heat, heat, heat. Okay. Two, we have Spawn 320 cover B. This is the homage to Amazing 316. I feel like I got the number wrong. With Venom. On top of Spider-Man or whatever. Is it 316 or 318? I feel like it's 316. I don't know. Anyway, that cover's going to be hot. It's going to be really... It, the, it probably won't cost as much as the number three, right? Uh, pick the uh, Red Room. But because it's going to be mass ordered. And I hope that the paper's still the same because they changed paper, which is amazing. But if they make that a black and white, um, that might be the one to go after. I'm not sure if they're doing that on this one. But I love the cover. So that's my number two. It's kind of a first. The, for my number one, it's all multiple printings. Second, third, whatever prints. All of them for my number one. So let's start at the beginning. <laughs> Number one, Legends of the Dark Knight, number two, second printing. That's the first appearance of Quiz. Okay, so there you go. Also, Nightwing, number 78, third printing. Um, that's the first appearance of, what's her name? That's Nightwing's, or whatever, sister. Grayson's sister. So that probably will heat up, and it's a third printing. Uh, next, X-Factor, number 10, second printing with Magneto's helmet, when apparently he killed Wanda or Scarlet Witch or whatever. So that's a cool cover too. Um, and most people were sleeping on that book. So if they want the key value, they're going to get that second printing. Usagi Yojimbo, number 20, the second printing, first appearance of the new whatever. Like seriously, I'm not hating. I like, I you know, I'm the year of the rabbit. I like it and all that. But it's like super hot. Like, I don't get it. I get it, but I don't. I'm not trying to hate on it. Um, and, of course, I missed the first, so I'm going to get a couple of those. It's a cool cover. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Every single one of these I've told you has been a key, except for this last one, Department of Truth number one sixth printing. They're calling it the sixth and final printing. So you're going to have your regular cover. You're going to have a 1 in 25 that's gold, which is sick. But then you're going to have this 1 in 50 virgin. Um, that'll be the heat. That'll be the heat. Uh, is it a key? I mean, it's the first Department of Truth, uh, which is cool. But, yeah, I guess it's a key. But it's not similar in regard to, like, first appearances of, like, actual cartoon characters or whatever. Uh-oh. Steppool's looking at me. So that means my time has run out. So stay sick. I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.